Hey guys, it's Ephraim here, uh, and this is a quick look on how to make your first uh, professional video game, kind of. Um, what you do first is you go to Unity3D.com, and Unity is um, a game engine, which is the background of what is running your game. And this game engine allows you to make video games for your iPhone, for Wii, for uh, Mac and PC, everything. And the cool part is, is that the basic version is now free. Uh, it used to be a hundred bucks to get started with this, but now it is, is free, so everybody can basically have a have a go with this. So go to Unity3D.com and then click download. You can um, download it for web, for uh, Mac as well as for um, for um, PC. So um, I'm running it on a Mac. Um, so let me show you. Once you download it and install it, and you open it up, it opens up with the basic um, um, first level, um, the tutorial level that opens up, and which is the island demo. And if you want, you can zoom in and out of the of the level by scrolling the scrolling your mouse wheel. So if I zoom all the way out, you can see that this island is basically just a little square with hills. And when you zoom all the way in, the trees get visible and everything else. Um, now up here on the top you can see this play button and as soon as you hit play it starts running your game um, and as you can see I'm now walking through the island basically with the normal controls as you would be used to from any video game using the WASD keys to walk or the arrow keys and then the mouse to look around. So it's a very nice engine. The graphics are super awesome, super high quality, even on the iPhone. And um, that being free is pretty hard to beat. All right, so let me pause this here and show you some more of the basic controls that you can uh, you do. As I said before, you can scroll out, scroll uh, to zoom out, and scroll back to zoom in. Um, if you um, keep the Alt key pressed, or probably some other key on Windows, but on Mac it's the Alt key, and then click and drag your mouse, you can kind of move your camera around. If it's more visible when I zoom all the way out, you can see I'm kind of spinning around the island. Um, then you can use some uh, some other functions. If you keep the Alt key pressed, and then use your middle mouse button or the scroll wheel, you can move up and down. Um, and um, that is basically how you maneuver in the 3D space. Now, there's a couple of panels that are probably open somewhere um, on the in the program, and you can basically drag these around. I can say oh, I want the hierarchy panel to go over here, or I want it to the dock right next to the project panel, or something like that. Uh, what I like to do is to keep the inspector on the right, because this is where all your properties will be when you start shaping your your video game. And then put the project and the hierarchy panels uh, stacked on top of each other right next to it. So that it leaves a lot of room on the left for your 3D view because that's what you want to see most. Then up here you can see your scene view is your game when it's not running. Um, a lot of things will look like they're running. So if you, for example, make fire or stuff like that, it will animate all the, all the time. And then your game view is when your game will be actually be running. Um, so, but usually you don't need to go to the game view as much because you just hit the play button and it switches to your game view automatically. Okay, so make sure that uh, to keep going that your hierarchy panel is open and in the hierarchy panel look for where it says first person controller prefab then click that then hover your mouse over the scene view over the 3D view and then hit the F key. Now what the F key does is it focuses on a certain object in the game. So I just clicked on the first person controller prefab and when I hit F um, it focuses on it. So let me zoom out just a little bit. Now when I use the Alt key to dra to uh, to um, pan around, it pans around the object that, does, that I just focused on which is this little invisible thing and uh, what this is basically it's a camera um, that is attached to an invisible cylinder. So when you walk around the uh, game Everything you do where you walk on the bridge, for example, is um, based off of this cylinder. This cylinder is basically the player. The player is invisible, but it, it, it uh, uses the shape of the cylinder to kind of know uh, when to fall and when not, that sort of thing. Um, so um, I can show you that by if I drag out the game view here, um, and if I start running the game, you can see that as I move my camera, in the game you can see that the camera moves and when I start to walk you can see the, ca the cylinder kind of moves moves around so everything is based off the cylinder that is really the player and in most video games 
you think, well, isn't that supposed to be a game character? Well, yeah, some in some games there is an actual character in there, but the character usually has a cylinder around him to um, function as collision material, kind of. So let me dock the game panel back under the scene and go back into the scene panel here. Um, okay, so um, if you move this uh, prefab around, let me select it one more time. Um, you can basically change the position where the um, player starts the game. So say that I use the uh, move um, uh, button right here. If I click that, I can move the uh, the player upwards. I can move him around through all the axes. Uh, up is always the Y axis, and then um, red is you know X, and and then blue is Z. Most of the times you don't really need it as long as you remember that the green one is always up or down. Um, and you can also move the the little triangle here in the middle. You can move that, and it basically moves all three of them around. Now it's pretty hard sometimes to um, to basically move something around in 3D space because you can't see if it's uh, hitting something or not because it just goes right through, especially an invisible piece of geometry. So what you can do is you can click here up top, you can click one of these these things and hey, say, hey, I want to I wanna see things from uh, the Z axis and you see things exactly from the side, which doesn't help right now because we're staring at a mountain. Um, but like for now up top the when you click on the z axis that is very handy because you can zoom out and you can basically see what the level looks like up top and then you can start moving the character around so say that I want him to plunge into the water as soon as the game starts I can do that click this thing go back into perspective mode then hit the F key to focus back on this thing now when I um, run the game I hit the play button you'll see that I plunge into the water splash right there as the game starts so that is how you change the starting position of your game okay so enough with the island thing um, let's start making our own video game in the next video but uh, thanks so much for watching this first part and if something isn't clear then use the comments and maybe I can explain something here and there alright cheers